Hello you guys, as you can see, I'm in my room again, and it's complete, so I'm probably gonna do like a, a room tour or something like that if you guys can see. Um, what we're gonna do today is something a smidge different. Since I am finishing up college, spring will be my last semester, but this is my last semester with lab classes. But today what we're gonna do is a what's in my kit video, which is what I carry with me that's not a backpack. My second semester of college, they told us we needed a knife kit or a baker's kit, and I got a kit, and I've carried it ever since then, but I carry it with me basically every single day to my lab classes. So I thought I would share with you guys what I carry in my kit in my toolbox. So if you wanna see that, keep on watching. So these are my tool bags. This is my toolbox and my, oh, my knife kit. So this is really heavy, I'm gonna put it down. Oh my gosh. I got this one this semester. Um, I was using it earlier, so there are a few things. I might be missing, but here on top, first, we just have these little things. So I've got a set of roller balls. I've got a Sharpie that I keep in my toolbox so that I can put it in my uniform in case I forget another one. So I always have an extra Sharpie. I have some black food color, and I have a set of peony cutters, and then I have, I guess these are carnation cutters. I have a set of three. In the interior of my toolbox, you can see it looks really messy. It's not, it's semi-organized. So the first thing I have is a little bitty fondant roller. Two fondant smoothers. I have a pair of wire cutters. I have an X-Acto knife, and a couple of Cutters that have banners on the inside. Then I have an entire set of plastic fondant tools. Just, they're pink. Everything's pink. So I have then I have a set of food grade paint brushes. That one's upside down still. So that's what's in this box. Toolkit. This is heavy, it's hefty. It's got my school logo smacked on the front and then it has a little place in the back. My name tag, and it's got one little zipper right here that literally usually has nothing in it. I've never put anything in there. Oh, there's another one on this side too that I never put things in. Yeah, they're empty. I honestly don't know what the purpose. I don't. So we're gonna open it up and look at the first zipper pouch. Which one do I open? Okay. This is the sharp one. Show you guys without dumping everything out. What's in this kit? Okay, I have knives. I'm not gonna take everything out. I have right here an offset spatula. My thermometer, chef's knife, another large offset, bread knife. That's the one that almost chopped my finger off. Serrated knife, and that one that I can't remember the name of. I'm ashamed, don't judge me. I can't remember the name. I learned the names of all of the knives, and I can't remember what that one's name. Second pouch has something that's falling out. So first things in here is a huge fondant rolling pin. It's massive. Ah! big. <laughs> it's very big. Um, I like this one better than using like a wooden one or even a French rolling pin. Like I feel like this one works better. And on this side of the pouch, since you can already see it, I have my bench scrape um, and then a little you know, bowl scrape deal. It's really good for bread and fondant, like scraping it out. I like this thing. I don't use it as much as my bench scrape, but it's flexible too, so I can kind of get underneath stuff. I'm just going to pull this stuff out because it's smaller. It's because it has pockets on both sides. So, on the bottom I have measuring spoons that are plastic because, just a warning to all you kids going to school, if you get a kit, do not, do not lose your stuff. Don't trust people to put stuff in the dish machine and give it back to you. Because I lost my spoons that way. I let somebody put my dishes through the dish machine and they didn't, like, strap on my spoons and they floated out into the machine and I did not realize until I got home to use my spoons. So I had to buy these cheapy plastic ones until I could buy a better version. Then I have a long, I remember the name of this tool because it's for trading bread. I have not used it since my bread's class, which is terrible. I should make some bread. I have this little peeler. Then I have a set of forks for dipping. And then on the other side, I have my scissors, my kitchen shears, and pizza cutter, dough cutter, all things cutter, cuts all things. I use it for fondant right now. Thanks for watching the what's in my kit video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video.